Welcome to our introductory course on Autodesk 3ds Max 2010. It is a great pleasure to introduce this powerful tool for drafting three-dimensional designs in the fields of engineering, game industry, cinema, the arts. This introductory course will introduce you to the basic principles of the software and launch you into the 3D world. So, let's start learning about 3DS Max, and from now on, we'll refer to it affectionately as Max. Now, let's introduce you to its interface tools. The Quick Access Toolbar is located on the upper part of this screen. This is a new feature in the software. The commands facilitate access to the File Menu tools. You can create, open and save files on this menu. Menu Bar. This is where all the Max tools are divided intuitively and positioned based on their functions. You see the standard system menus. Edit view and help. The file menu has now been changed to the application menu in Max. Besides these standard menus, you also can see specific menus. The create menu is used for creating solids, shapes, lighting, cameras, space changes and other options. There are also the modify, animation and rendering menus. Below this, you can see the main toolbar. The selection, position, rotation and scale object tools are on this toolbar. Not all the tools on this toolbar are visible on the screen. Just click and slide it to view the other tools. You can also see the command panel on the right side of the screen. This command panel manages object properties and changes in properties. There are six tabs for working with specific element properties. Viewport is in the middle of the screen. You see views in the Mac system. This is where you sketch and model your designs. There is even the lower bar. Here you will find tools for navigating in the viewports, animation and programming tools. So in this class you studied how Max layouts these tools on the screen. Throughout the course you will study each section in the software and explain these applications in simple English. 